Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for the 8th through the 9th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to go ahead and pull you guys some angel messages from the Romance Angels to see what messages they have for you guys today. Let's see what we've got. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe some of you have been kind of like working too hard. You know, just trying to dive off into your work. Let's see. We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys have been throwing yourself into your work. Um, and that is that is something that you do, I feel, to, to try to ignore other things. Um, things that have possibly been bothering you um, about a love connection here. But... Um, but I just, I just feel like you guys do need to trust that everything is going to work out the way that it's supposed to work out for you guys, okay? And, and just to have faith in that, okay? But in the meantime, you know, I think it's time for you guys to kind of get out, have a little fun, and, um, you know, do what you do. Spend some of that money, okay, on yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what Tarot has for you guys. I'm splitting the deck. There is the Six of Cups there. Soulmate relationship under the bottom of the Romance Angels deck. Um, I see true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I don't feel like um, you guys are doing anything or have done anything in vain as far as a connection is concerned. Under the bottom of this deck is the Ace of Wands. There is definitely still a strong connection there between you and someone else. Um, there is this very, uh, I feel like, strong attraction um, between the two of you here. Let's see. What we've got Nine of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you. I'm already knowing the Nine of Pentacles is going to come up for you guys because, you know, I'm just getting this sense that everything is good, like, in your, in your work life. But... I think that a lot of you are feeling the devil fell out here, very attached to someone, and you're really not liking that, okay? And this is your card. I feel like you guys feel feeling very attached to someone, and I think that to kind of es escape that, you are like really kind of nose diving into your work here because you don't want to feel, um, you don't want to be hurt. You don't even want to think about it is what I'm getting for you guys, okay? So... <clears throat> Focusing on that, but yet and still, the past still is like, it's not a distant memory. It's, it's at the forefront. Then we have the Two of Pentacles here. Needing to find a nice balance between working and socializing. Okay? Right now, you guys are just focused on um, securing that bag, I feel. But that's like escapism. Okay? So, let's see what else we've got for you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, and, and feeling like you know, if even if you're not, even if you're not getting what you feel like you deserve as far as like the love, um, <laughs> you're gonna get your bag full, okay? If nothing else is what I'm getting from you guys, and right now you're like blocking out everything else and just like having tunnel vision is what I'm getting here. Maybe a Leo you guys are dealing with. Um, they may have blocked you. You have blocked them. You guys have blocked each other. But I think that the reason why you know you guys are behaving like this is because you do care so very much for each other. And neither one of you wants to be hurt. So you're kind of like in this comfortable state right now with this four of cups. Like, ah, forget that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get this money. This is what I'm going to do. Let's see. The nine of cups. Hmm. Somebody has a false sense of happiness right now. Okay. And what I'm getting strongly is it's the other person that has this false sense of happiness. They're doing things. You're working a lot to do what, you know, both of you kind of have your backs like this. Okay. You're working a lot and needing to find some time to play. Some time for yourself. Blocking this other person out. Well, they're over here drinking, hooplaing, you know, just doing all kinds of ish um, to distract themselves as well. Appearing to the people that they're around that they're so very happy, and I don't feel like that's the case, okay? 
Both of you are in your separate corners right now. That's what I'm getting here. There you are. You're, you're kind of like, um, you're not trying to allow your emotions into this situation because you're not trying to feel vulnerable is what I'm getting here. You're not trying to allow it to throw you off of your game. But nevertheless, you know, it's still right there. You still think about it. You still try to analyze it, try to figure out what went wrong. Um, not allowing your emotions to kind of completely take over you. No, mm -mm. not doing that. Not you. Maybe them, but not you. <laughs> You're needing to rest, I feel. I feel like you guys are definitely needing to take a break. Take some time out for yourself. Um, rest, regroup, recoup, kind of get over the heartbreak, deal with the heartbreak, deal with your own, own emotions. You know, I really do feel like that. And I feel like you guys really need to get out. You need to get out. You need to socialize. Okay. Because I feel like when you're not working, um, you're just kind of like almost in the house as like a recluse. You're not really interacting with people. Okay, so there's definitely a need for you not to rest in your room after you've been working 16 hour shifts or working three jobs. It's to rest and then get up and do something else on your downtime, like interact. Okay, so let's see what else. Six of Cups, there it is. There it is. This is your soulmate, and I think you know this is your soulmate. But still, if they're acting a donkey ass, you guys are blocking them out regardless, okay? If you're acting an ass, soulmate or no soulmate, um, your ass is getting blocked. And that's how you feel. I'm not dealing with you. Nope, not going to do it. Scorpio energy there, maybe Pisces, Libra. Let's see. Five of Swords. I feel like you guys had lots of arguments with this person. I really do. I feel like they kind of got on your nerves. Um, I feel like they were probably like a know-it-all. Um, maybe try to tell you what to do. Tell you how to manage your life, your finances, just everything about you. Um, maybe they felt like they knew more than you did. I don't know. But for some reason, you guys could not get along. But, getting still. This person deep down inside wants to fight for this. They want to fight for this, okay? So, yeah, there you have it. Capricorn. Soulmate or no soulmate. <laughs> Your ass is getting blocked. All right. Let's see. What's influencing this situation is the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Still very attracted to this person, feeling drawn to this person. They are definitely feeling drawn to you. But I get that this person has been doing some real kind of um, shady shit since you guys are probably not together. Um, they may have been, they may be out dating. They may be, okay? But like I said, they're putting on this false sense of happiness like they have it going on when they, when they don't. Whatever they're doing right now, they're doing because they're hurt. They're doing to hide, to disguise what it is that they actually want and how they're feeling. Okay? So, whatever they're doing. But I feel like they definitely want to start over with you. They feel like, you know, you guys can really have something. They want to be successful with you. They want you to stop blocking them. Okay? If you guys have blocked them, they want you to stop blocking them. They want you to, to talk to them. They want to start over. They feel like, you know, you guys are, are moving on without them. That you do not want to start over with them. And I feel like they're probably doing things thinking that you're doing those same things. Okay? Dating. Having started over with someone. You know, that type of thing. That's what I'm getting from this Leo energy. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. Okay, two cards fell out. So, no, four cards fell out. All right. That's your card, too. Four of Pentacles. Keeping your heart close. Not allowing anyone in. <laughs> and we'll cut their head off if they try. Okay. We'll definitely do that. 
three of pentacles there you're thinking about you think about what the time that you've invested in this okay and I don't know if you guys are willing to to put up with with this type of behavior anymore even though you know this is your soulmate okay you know there's better out there you know you don't have to put up with bullshit you do have options right now I don't feel like you guys are exploring those options but I do feel like you guys definitely have options but I think you know you're on defense you're very defensive ready to cut a muck head off okay and um, I think you just want to you, you feel like spending your time doing something else other than focusing on this connection is it is what your option is right now that's what you're choosing that's one of your options and that's what you're doing okay so I don't see any change in this um, uh, especially not today okay because I think for right now, you guys, you know, you're comfortable just working because, you know, it allows you to escape the nonsense is what I'm getting from you guys. All right. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.